here at the Stevens Institute of Technology. We're establishing 3D models for tissue. We can apply 3D printing in order to create tissues for in vitro models as well as for implantation. We are able to achieve printed constructs that look exactly like organs and probably within the next five to ten years we can leverage the 3D bioprinting techniques and actually come up with functional organs that can help the lives of many people. In order to 3D print tissue or a printed construct or an organ, we need to prepare the support bath material, which is a type of nanoclay. We will mix a certain amount with DI water, and after this uh, laponite is completely dissolved, it will become gel-like and it would allow us to print with it. Now we had cells incubating in the incubator at 37 degrees, which is the body temperature, and 5% carbon dioxide. When the cells are growing inside the uh, flask in the incubator, they adhere to the bottom of the flask. So we need to put some enzymes to lift them up from the bottom of the flask, spin them down in a centrifuge, and then we can collect the cells and do whatever we want with them. After we have lifted the cells using trypsin and incubating them, we spun them down using a, a centrifuge and now we collected the cells. As you can see here, the cells are at the bottom here, collected, and now we can remove the excess media and start working with them. Right next to me is a quad extrusion bioprinter. It's built in-house. We use commercial off-the-shelf resin printers and FDM printers to make the parts. This low-cost design and bioprinter will help close the gap between organ fabrication and organ transplantation because up to this point, it's still very expensive to fabricate a tissue or a part of an organ. So this would be a step forward towards commercializing it and making it more available. We have the bio ink loaded in the syringes and the machine ready to print. So now I will be loading the support bath material, which is nanoclay. And we will be suspending the bio ink within this nanoclay and it will help us maintain the structure with low viscosity bio inks. And for a sample print, we will be printing a telescopic tube that represents a capillary tube that has different diameters. The real-world application for these vascular bioprints would be for the vascular grafts for various vascular diseases like diabetes. Another application would be using these vascular structures as feeding tubes for printed tissues and organs. And after printing, we uh, will remove the support bath, cross-link it under UV light so that the hydrogel will harden and you have a final strong structure that you can extract from the bath and then incubate in the incubator in cell media so that the cells will be uh, proliferating and growing with high viability. I feel like we're making significant contributions to society by engineering tissues that down the road will uh, really impact uh, patients in a very uh, direct and personal way. As engineers, we are problem solvers by definition. We have some days where we stay up very late because the work needs to be done, some experiments may fail and you need to repeat them and they take several hours. But it's fine, it's fine because we like what we're doing and it's meaningful work that will have an impact on society.